Hello and welcome to Ace Designs 107. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how to make background textures. So let's get today into straight into today's tutorial. Mind me, I'm recording this on my new mic. Sorry for the static background noise. Guys, I need to get a pop filter and set up my studio for recording. But I hope that you guys do enjoy this tutorial and let's see if we can get to 10 likes for it. I'm sorry that I haven't been doing tutorials lately. Um, I've been doing more speed arts. That's because of my mic has been broken. So therefore, I've been doing speed arts, which don't require me to have a mic. But thank you for all the amazing support, guys, getting me 300 views, 300 views, 162 views. Each of you counts a lot. And let's see if we can get this low poly scene up to 200 views, guys. That's my goal. I'm not going to upload a new video until a video gets 200 views, a previous video. So when I upload a video, when it gets 200 views, I'll upload a new video. That's how it works, boys. If I feel like the video is not going to get 200 views at all, obviously I'm going to upload something. All right, let's get straight into today's tutorial. We'll be using Photoshop, and this is the effect that we'll be making. So you, there's heaps of different ways with you can do it. You can do it with green... And then there's this type, like with the edges a bit lined out with the nice little glow on the edges. And then you have this color, which is like more black, and then the lines just really stand out. And then you've got this one, which has some squares, like really nicely highlighting. So first, what we are going to do is we are going to make a new document by pressing Control N or going to File, New. We're going to make the pixels 920 by 1080p and we're going to name the name Background Texture. Alright, sweet. So we um, here we have our document. Alright, so because it's 1080p and 9, 920 by 1080p, um, a brush size of 1500 would be amazing if you guys can get that up just basically by moving the slider or just changing this here all right but first we need to unlock this layer by double clicking and making it just a layer i'm just going to name it layer zero it doesn't really matter and we're going to grab a bucket tool make sure that black is on our foreground color and we're just going to click on the document. There we go. We've got this document black. Now what we have to do is we have to get a brush. So here's our brush size. Make sure that the opacity is like 50%. Right. Make sure the opacity is around 56%. That 50, let's make it 50%. And make sure you made a new layer by pressing Control shift n or just down there on that button. And click somewhere in the middle or on the edge, depending where you want your lighting. For this one, I'm just going to do it here. All right. Now I'm going to change the opacity down to like 45%. Even 20%, that's a bit too low. 46% is quite, oh, it's a bit too strong there. There, yeah, that's nice, 38%. And now we're just going to merge those together. Now we're going to press a new layer and just pick a color. I'm going to do it, for an example, just blue this time. All right, I'm just going to paint the whole document. Sorry for the loud um, clicks. It's just that this microphone is very sensitive. All right. So now we have painted this document and make sure your opacity is 100%. And there you go, you have something much more brighter. All right, so now what we have to do is we just have to change the opacity very simple. And then we have like this nice gradient overlay. All right, sweet, there we go. 6% is fine, press Control E to merge it. And we got our background. So I'm just going to name this background. And we've done. We can click that and that means we can't do it. But I'm just going to leave it unlocked for now. Alright. Now what we need to do is we need to make a new layer by pressing this button. And we're going to go to filter, render, clouds. 
All right, make sure before you render clouds, you press this button here and then go to filter, render clouds, or you can just press control F if you've done that before. And here you go. Now, this is a random generator. So basically you can press control F once you've done the clouds and it'll just generate random ones. So I'm just gonna find one here like that. Um, now what we are going to do is we are going to go to filter just wait, let me find it. Pixelate Mosaic. And we're going to make it 25. You can do 40. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to do it 25 for this purpose. Press OK. Now I'm going to press Control J. I'm going to go to Filter. Just let me find it. Stylize, Find Edges. And then we get this. Now press Control I with the new duplicate layer. And that's going to invert that. And there we go. We've got something like this. Now, if you mess around with the blending modes, this is the most common one. If you go to your blending mode, change that one to color George and change this one to color overlay, bam, you've got your effect. And that is your texture. However, to achieve like different types of effects, like for an example, this one, how it's just like the lines, what you can do is you can just mess around with it. So for an example, color dodge and if you keep both color dodge, this one really outlines that. And that's actually quite a nice effect. And here, soft light. So I changed this one to soft light. And you can just scroll through these and you come up with amazing different types of ones. So for an example, overlay on this one. Um, you just come up with so many different effects, it's not even funny. Here's subtract, you know. You're basically boundless, but guys, you just need to know what each thing does and you'll be fine you're you're gonna come up with some really cool effects now i'm gonna keep it like this actually because i like that um you this one is supposed to be on overlay but for me that's a bit too dull for my liking so i like this one all right so now i have this and i'm just gonna press Control e whoa shit all right so it looks like i'm just gonna select that all right so when you merge these together just so shift click them and then press Control e so it's just gonna merge it like that all right so now you have your thing and that's basically it so that's the tutorial but i'll show you some things that you can do with this to make it a bit more better you could say so let's press Control j and we're gonna go to filter stylize and you can press wind and you can just put a blast for an example it gives you that pixelated look you know bit more nice and you can mess around with the strength that you put on the blast um, you can also go to stylize wind and then put a different type of wind for an example stagger or you can put in wind like a legit wind and then you can go there and then go to filter stylize wind and then change it from right to left and then boom you have your edges like that and that's something really cool now I did a similar type of effect on my channel with a text effect. So if you do want to know how to make a electrified text effect, just go check out this tutorial. Um, I use the wind, the wind text effect, um, the wind tool, and you make this so cool text effect. So if you do want to go check it out, go and watch this video and make sure we can get that to ten likes. All right, so. Um, you can just mess around with the wind and everything like that guys. It's really cool and you're really not limited. Honestly, you can go to extrude even and change the size to like 20 if you want and you, you can make it pyramids and then bam, you've got something so wacky but so nice and clean and just brilliant. Um, in my opinion, 3D doesn't really work with this. Um, there you've got the blocks and that looks something really cool. Because then if you go to your 3D and like extrude this layer. Uh, just wait. You extrude this layer. You can basically make a really cool box. And you've got something really cool here. And it's something really nice to work with. And I really recommend doing it. So you can do all that jazz with this stuff. And it's just so funny and... You really boundless. Um, I don't know why it's funny. Sorry.
you can go to find edges again and you just mess around with the things guys um also you don't don't forget about your filter gallery this stuff is pretty cool so my favorite one if you're going to be using this um filter gallery go to assorted edges and you can change the edge edge width to like 13 whatever i like to keep it nice and fine and put the brightness right up so what this does is it really outlines that find edges effect and change the smoothness to like what it's called two maybe press that and then you've got like a mosaic gradient lighting effect and then what you can do is you got to go to filter and then put a light effect on it i forgot how to do a light effect hmm well, I forgot how to do a light effect, guys, but you can put a light and put like a spotlight on this and that will look really cool. So guys, if you do and like this tutorial and if you found it useful at any point in time, please make sure to smack that like button. I really do appreciate it. Um, this texture is used for banners, used for wallpapers, used for pattern overlays. It has boundless useless uses and for your graphics designers that you'll subscribe to me thank you for b being a subscriber really appreciate it and thank you for viewing this tutorial make sure to comment in the section below about what you think about this tutorial and how could i improve my tutorials also some good feedback by saying thanks or thank you or whatever i'll make sure i comment back to you and if you're a youtuber if you comment i'll most likely go check out your channel because of your commenting on my videos so I want to I want to look at your channel. I might not comment on your videos, but I definitely check out your channel. For an example, these people here, this video, they went and commented and I honestly just went to their channels because most of them are gamers or they do cool things. So make sure you guys interact with each other, not just by saying thank you and nice bro and ni very nice. I love that feedback, guys, but like just give me cool things and like this guy, he's pretty cool in that. So yeah, just guys work together and you guys are lucky for me clicking on your video <laughs> anyway i hope that you do like this new microphone and not many issues you encountered in this tutorial if you didn't know how to do anything at any point in time in this tutorial let me know in the comments section below i'll be sure to help you out thank you for watching guys and i'll see you next time bye ace designs out yeah, yeah, yeah.